Welcome, welcome, welcome to Reunited Live. Anthony to Manchester United for a hundred million euros. Guys, what do you think? Um, you know, I told you guys I went to the Chaluati Festival and I came back sick. I've been sick since the day I came back. I have a flu because, you know, I'm not a carnival person, but I decided to do it. And since then, I've been indoors a lot. So, Anthony to Manchester United. This is a ginger drink. Anthony to Manchester United for 100 million euros. Guys, what do you think? Do you think all of us know it is overpriced? You know, we know this deal is overpriced. But come on. You know, um, this is an opportunity. That is why we were saying Ajax, they needed to do this thing faster and, and, and very, very sooner you know even 85 million we could have done this thing wrapped it up earlier on in the season but then again this is manchester united always we leave things late and but we are happy with the signing what do you guys think about the anthony signing let me see whether i can bring a few people online let me send a few invitation if you want to join the live feed i'll bring you on so you send me a request and i'm going to grant it what do you think about the anthony signing what do you think about it? You know, do you think it is way over budget? Do you think he's the right person um, for the right wing? You know, I'm, I'm actually very, very happy and perplexed and full of emotions right now. But I am a bit ill. You know, as I said, I'm drinking. I'm still having the flu from the Chaluati Festival. I, I've never carnival like that before. So now I'm, I'm stuck in, I'm stuck at home sick all day you know okay so but i just i decided to come on live to you guys so nanaima is watching shout out to everybody watching much kisses for me nanapoko hitfield let us get interactive anthony to manchester united for a hundred million euros you know initially if we had done this earlier on in the season or earlier on in the transfer window most manchester united fans won't feel the way we are feeling you know what we are feeling right now is why wait this late to bring in anthony if anthony had been in the squad probably we, we would have won against brighton and brentford why do manchester united leave decisions key decisions very late year in year out and we have a common denominator which is the glazer family you know the glazer family under their tutelage and under their guidance have have made this club so bad in actually everything everything is run badly that is why we have waited this long to pay a hundred million for anthony when we should have done this earlier when sebastian Halle was leaving when Mazraoui was leaving, we had to wait to make it a blockbuster. Maybe those new sell for Manchester United, that is why they keep doing that, you know, so that we make that headline signing, you know. But as far as we need things earlier, we care about the results. Manchester United fans, we care about the results. So we need the players early in order for the coach to, to implement his ideas. If you knew we would get Casemiro, why did we wait that late? Didn't we have a scout with a list? Now, the scouts at, Man at Manchester United, I don't know what they do. Probably all they do is go have fun and go on holidays. Let me see whether I can bring a few people on. I want to speak to my African. Let me try and ask somebody. And let's talk about, talk about Manchester United. So I'm adding all die all die let me see when i can bring somebody online and let's talk about the hundred million pounds yes hundred million euro fee for anthony you know we need a few more we need another right back because it is clear era one bisaka is not being favored now we have we currently have so many brazilians in the team all of a sudden you know alex tellers is still a Manchester United player. So we have Alex Tellers, we have Fred, we have Casimiro, now we have Anthony. And we hope that they will bring that samba spirit infused with, with a bit of Portuguese magic. You know, now this is the time that Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo needs to come out and, and if he's going, we should know. 
Now, I always say that Manchester United have done so much for Cristiano Ronaldo. You know, when Cristiano Ronaldo was coming through Manchester United, he had the likes of Ryan Giggs to look up to. He had the likes of Paul Scholes to look, to look up to. The Roy Kings, the Rio Ferdinands. People who were serial winners and have won virtually everything. So he picked up those attitudes. So probably this is the time, Cristiano Ronaldo, you know my love for you. We love you so much. Manchester United fans love you so much. What we need this time is you, Cristiano Ronaldo, coming out to commit to the cause, to make Manchester United great again. And the fan base, the, the, the row within us will go up and there will be good spirits around Manchester United so that Eric Ten Hag can, can, can work, you know. That is what we need. So Cristiano Ronaldo, please come out. Maybe a contract extension to, to commit to the cause. Accept whatever the coach tells you to do. You will be that public, you will be that figure, you know, the iconic figure. You, the same way Paul Scholes was to you, the same way uh, Gary Neville was to you, the same way, you know, these top max, um, top professionals who played the game and won so much. So you can nurture the likes of Alejandro Ganacho. Anthony is coming under your tutelage, you know, under Cristiano Ronaldo's tutelage. So please, sir, um, commit to Manchester United and, and, and don't leave. Let me see what I can bring. If you want me to bring you live on video, let me know. Or send me an invitation so that um, I can see a few people trying to join. But unfortunately, I'm having difficulties. So what do you think about... Let me drink a tea, my tea a bit, you know, as I told you. I've been suffering from a flu since the Chaluati Festival. It was epic. You know, I had a chance of hosting two reunited, sorry, six reunited live fans across the world. Two people from the United States, uh, one person from Belgium, one person from Germany, and one person from Iceland. You know, they came and they came to the Chaluati Festival. We had a blast. So if you are looking at me, if you are looking at me out there, if you want to visit Ghana, let me know in Anapoko Hitfield. If you're a Manchester United fan, let me show you my country. Let me let me give you the taste of what it is to be a Ghanaian and an African. You know, so reunited life, we are reunited for that Red Devil inside us. We are still doing so many meetings upon meetings to bring you guys the reunited shock prize show where we want to reward our top fans on reunited life. But unfortunately, the funding is so, so, so huge. I've been saving a lot for it. That is why I didn't go on tour this time around. I would have been on tour, but because I want to save up for um, the reunited surprise show, that is why I couldn't go on tour. My friends in Australia were bailing me. I had to switch off my phone virtually for a very, very long time, you know, because I was getting so many calls. So guys, reunited life, we are reunited for that red devil inside us. Nana Puko Hitsfield, I'm full of love. I'm telling you guys, I want to, we, we are reunited live is taking three lucky fans across the African continent. One person from Ghana, one person from Nigeria, and the other from Tanzania. That is Zalem. I have so many beautiful women who support Manchester United around that is Zalem, you know. And I can't wait to visit there. So I want to pick, we are picking one person from each of these three countries, and we are going to Old Trafford. And the show will be called Reunited Surprise Show because just imagine you waking up and you will see me knocking on your door with a camera crew and telling you you are the lucky winner of the Reunited Surprise Show, show from your country. It's going to be epic, guys. It's going to be epic. So let us push Reunited Life to the world, share our content, subscribe to our YouTube page and help us grow to where we want to be, you know. Love, much love to you guys. So we are still talking about Anthony. Now, he is good. Anthony is good. That left foot, you know, he is in the form of, um, you know, he because he is short, because Anthony is short, his center of gravity is great. And that is what I love about fast wingers. If you become too tall, like how Marcus Rashford has become, he has grown too tall for a winger. So then when you are dribbling, it is more difficult. You know, but when you are that size, that Aguero Messi height, you know, that makes you PSM. And that is the same size as 
Anthony, and you know, go and watch his YouTube videos. Maybe watch an Ayaz game. Me, I've watched so many of his games, and I know what I'm saying. The boy has a magic foot for a left foot, you know. He knows what he's about. And Manchester United's right wing is officially solved. I'm saying it on Reunited Life. <laughs> United's right wing issue is officially solved with Anthony at the club. Now, Jaden Sancho can concentrate on playing on the left-hand side, you know. Now, we hope we can get another small signing. I feel we need another right-back, considering the fact that Aaron Wan-Bissaka might leave. Eric Bailey has left on loan with an option to buy, which Marcel will virtually exercise. You know, some of us are disappointed with the fact that he left when, you know. But he is the only sellable app assets we have. The others are even injured. The Phil Joes, the Brandon Williams, uh, the, what is his name? Brandon Williams, Phil Jones, Axel Tuazembe, they are injured. So we can even sell to make money. So what do you think, guys? Oh, I, I hope I could have brought somebody live. Let's talk about Manchester United. I don't know whether it's from my end, but it's not connecting. Okay, so um, Ajiboye Kunle David say good news up United, up 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 Manchester United. Charlie guys, I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm I'm really 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 sick. So that is it. Hopefully tomorrow, um, we will hear more news because tomorrow is Monday. You know we need to hear more news. The the transfer window ends on Thursday. We need another right back. We need another right back. Denzel Dumfries, he's somebody I really like, and, and he can defend and attack. And James Justin, you know, of Leicester, I really like that player too, James Justin. He is in the mode of, um, um, what is his name, Rich James, you know, James Justin of Leicester for right back. I think will be will, will do so much sense because Leicester are living, but if he will be overpriced, we need to look across Europe. Denzel Dumfries for right back to push uh, Diego Dalot. Now, Dalot had a very, very good game. He had an, an assist. Finally, he crossed accurately because um, most of his crosses, to be honest, has been way over at times. But thank God that finally we, he was able to um, give an assist. And this is something we've been asking of our fullbacks. And Tyrone Malasia, you know, another. And Licha, hey, Lisandro Martinez. Now, the butcher of Amsterdam is in Manchester. Manchester, beware. He's butchering everybody wherever he's going. Lisandro Martinez, Licha. So, so, te amo mucho, te amo, te amo mucho, Lisandro Martinez. Licha, hey. The guy is a beast. The guy is a monster. And we hope that he gets more games and learns the Premier League. And we have a good partnership going. Um, Ajibole Kunde, or somebody said, good news up United. Nanahima says, good news there. Okay, with regards to Anthony. Somebody said, Anthony, with love, love, love from Nanapoko Hitfield to everybody across the African continent, across the world, and across the beautiful country called Ghana. I'll see you same time next week. Not next week, anytime I feel like coming live when we make a transfer. I don't care the time. It is currently 9.16 in the evening. But as I said, I've been in bed for a very long time and I, I'm drinking some tea, ginger tea. To cure my flu, you know. So, see you tomorrow. Probably if there is something, I'll come on live so that we discuss it. Glory, glory, Manchester United. Reunited live. We are reunited for that red devil inside us. Bye. Mwah.